Welcome to Bring a Game Presents the Unashamed Gamers episode. Hold on, hold on, Ben. We've got a phone call. Hello? You're live with the Unashamed Gamers. But but we're not live and we don't have a phone line. But it's our number one fan? Put the phone away, Paul. I'll, I'll call you later, man. Bye. Three, two, one, fight! <laughs> Welcome back to the Unashamed Gamers with Ben and Paul. Today we're talking next gen remakes versus backwards compatibility. Uh, next gen remakes are when a company remakes a game that they already had on last gen. <laughs> so, like last gen for me would be. Because they've run out of ideas. Uh, the Wii, Xbox 360, yeah. PlayStation 3, and then next gen would be, you know. Wii U, Xbox One. <laughs> Wii U's next I, I, I mean, Well, I, I say I say Wii in both instances. No, nobody plays the Wii. No. <laughs> didn't you just Didn't you just buy a Wii? Yeah, for Lily, for when she. Yeah, yeah. For, for Lily, <laughs> for, for Lily. Lily. Hey, cool. yeah. <laughs> but she, she, she's never played on it. Has no, you? no. <laughs> God, God, you can watch. You can watch me play Star Wars. <laughs> this is my lightsaber. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, next gen remix is where the game's already come out, and then they bring it out and. All they really do is give it the game a, like a paint on it, yeah, the, the, yeah. boost the graphics, upscaling, upscale it a bit, you know, like give it a bit of <sighs> smoother frame rate. Yeah, but that's not even in every instance. Some of the games are literally some games look exactly the same. Yeah, for me, like State of Decay, loved State of Decay. Yeah. The brought out again um, for the Xbox One, uh, the Year One Survival, Year One Edition. Survival Edition. They've always got a weird name, haven't they? Yeah. Like it's never just it's never just called like it, it's it's either the Ultimate Edition. Yeah, yeah. Remastered, Remastered. Edition. Or uh, they've all got a different even better our edition yeah. Mark Two. Was Gears called Gears of War Ultimate Edition? Yeah, <laughs> Ultimate Edition. In fairness, Gears Gears was good. Uh, the sixty frames per second turn eight P was beautiful yeah. for online. But yeah, I mean, was it needed? Like, any remake? That's why I didn't get it. I, just, I don't think it was needed. Yeah, I like, agree. The, the, point, the point for this episode is next-gen remakes versus backwards compatibility because, like, Xbox, just, just a few months ago, added backwards compatibility. Basically, they've created a way that it can it can emulate the 360 on the Xbox One. Yeah, cool. So, in theory, you can play every <laughs> single game, but yeah. they're, they're saying that they have to get the okay from the publishers. So only certain publishers. <laughs> yeah, but everything's getting a remaster, so. Yeah. So, so <laughs> it's not getting it. Yeah. So basically, what well, certain games are getting put on and others aren't. Yeah. And it's sucks. quite frustrating because it's just like the games already come out. The licenses surely already exist for those yeah. games, uh-huh. and you're still technically playing on a 360 because it's an emulator on yeah. the Xbox There's One. Some, the only difference is, is the controller and the console it's on. Yeah. Like you say, it's an emulator. So why can't we have Red Dead Redemption right now? Exactly. Today, yeah. right now. And it's it's. The thing what's annoying me the most about it is uh, some people think it's cool, but I think it's really like exploitative. Is um, like Fallout Four did it, and I think it's pretty shitty that they've done it. Is uh, with Fallout Four you get Fallout Three. Yeah. But it's like an incentive to get Fallout Four. Like the only yeah. way you can play Fallout Three on Xbox One is if you, is buy, if you 4, buy Fallout Four. And I just think like fuck off. Like yeah. I've already paid for Fallout Three. I was gonna yeah. buy Fallout Four <laughs> anyway because yeah. Fallout Four looks good. Don't try and it's like you know you know my opinion on pre-order incentives. Yeah, full stop. yeah. I think it's, it's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. It, is. it really is. You know what I mean? I agree. But I just think that's really not another game that's doing it. Like um, is uh, Quantum Break, which is coming out. Uh, yeah. Which looks it looks quite it good really, to be fair. Really good. It yeah. Really does. I, like, I'm actually looking forward to it. But if you pre-order that, you get Alan uh, Wake. Wake's Undead and, Night, not Undead Night, <laughs> American Night. You think you think yeah, Red, Red Dead? I just want that game so Dead. much, man. Red Dead should. I know. Yeah. But it, it makes no sense that that isn't backwards compatible. Yeah. But um. Yeah, so you'll get Alan Wake and you get Alan Wake's uh, American Nightmare, which are great games, but it's like you say, why, why yeah. you know what I mean? If yeah. I already own that game on 360, why yeah. can't I play it on Yeah, the, exactly. You why know can't know I mean? you play it back? When the capability is literally there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, just uh, I, I, obviously we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, Yeah, and uh, that's fair enough, they've got to get the okay and, and stuff, yeah. but to me it it's doesn't make disappointing any sense. Then. It, it is disappointing. The, the way it seems to be as well is like the bigger the studio is, the more of a pain they seem to be yeah, to get it, because exactly. a lot of the games that are on are like smaller studios. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only, the only reason... Microsoft games are all on there though, obviously, like the yeah. arcade games that nobody played, like Carcassonne. Car- <laughs> so like, who wants that? I want to play Undead Nightmare. I want to play Red Dead. I don't want to play Carcassonne. Yeah. What even is that? So they're doing. They're doing. Obviously, the the one the one game which is it's coming on Xbox Gold um, tomorrow is uh, Borderlands. Borderlands. Yeah. Borderlands One, and that's going to be backwards compatible. And I'm actually looking forward to playing that. Yeah. I love Borderlands. I'm yeah. a huge Borderlands fan. Yeah. I played it a death first time around. I bought the Handsome Collection, which is the next gen <laughs> remaster. Which is yeah. yeah. 
the handsome collection is uh, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the, the pre sequel. Yeah. Um, but I like I play that on my PS4 with my girlfriend all the time. And yeah, it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Like it, 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 it's 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 like you say it's a lick of paint. Yeah. It looks a bit sharper and it runs uh-huh. a bit smoother. But to be honest, I would have happily got those games remastered had they not touched them up as well because like right. those, you okay. know what I mean. Yeah. Like a lot of the time the lick of paint it's nice, but yeah. it's not necessary if the game's really good. Yeah. I, but I, I, what I was going to say about State of Decay, State of Decay hadn't been out long enough to warrant um, a remaster unless it was getting a huge overhaul, in my opinion. I think, to, to me, I, I kind of get it because Undead Labs are a small studio yeah. and they want to make a game that we assume is Class 4. So because of being a small studio, yeah. I get them re-releasing State of Decay as a year one survival edition with all the DLC yeah. because it's more money in their pocket. Whereas oh yeah, the big but that's, companies, that's the reason I bought it. I bought it yeah, on release to, to support the, because I want I want class four. Yeah, I want to you want to support them. these. But like I didn't, it didn't feel amazing. It was like a lot of the bugs were still there. Yeah, and it was like it didn't it didn't look wildly better, and the loading yeah. time still ridiculously long. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to me, it looked a little bit better. It, it did, but oh, there yeah, was still yeah, bugs but, there. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. But it was saying, enjoyable. But that's, it. But that's what I'm saying. Was it's it, a little bit better. Yeah, but I get what you mean. Like, was it warranted? Yeah. And the I, big I the big thing that. I think is for is it's for people who never played it. So if you didn't play the last gen version, remasters are great for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like I think um, PS4 have just done um, the Uncharted collection, so it's Uncharted one, two, and three because four is coming out this year. Yeah. So if you haven't played them, now is your time to play them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is great, but but also similarly, some games don't need the lick of paint. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some games you could literally, like I say, a lot of games I I just want them on backwards compatible. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. I don't feel like I should have to pay one. for them again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like GTA, the the got the got were good with GTA. <laughs> they did like the screw you know I mean? I'm not saying they didn't do any work. It does look better, and and obviously the first person first mode person. is it's it's huge. First person mode. You know what I mean? The detail they've put in first person mode yeah. is superb. I just hate it. Yeah. <laughs> just because Grand Theft Auto isn't first person. I mean, it never no, will be. No. I do you know what I mean? I hope they don't do that for the next one. Like, yeah. Uh, because a lot of people were saying, "Oh my God, first person!" Like the Call of Duty audience were like, "This is first person, so it'd be cool." Yeah. But I hope they don't do that for the like the next Grand Theft Auto. I mean, I, I never, can't see it. But I'm not. I'm not I've barely touched never the seen first never. person. But yeah, I'd be interested to try and play like a team deathmatch first person. Oh, like, I would right? just to see how it plays. Uh, but I like the customization, so again, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it first person. Yeah. I mean, there's a few remakes that I have got that I've bought. Yeah. It's like the State of Decay again yeah. support on Dead Labs because I love their games and I, I and I want Class Four. Yeah. And the Resident Evil games, like Resident Evil Zero, and yeah. Resident Evil, the HD remake of the remake from the game yeah. remake. <laughs> like I've got those games because again, it's nostalgia. I mean, yeah. I played the very first Resident Evil with a guy called David Henderson, um, and. Uh, just playing that game it brings back those memories of playing it and and that's what i like yeah i mean the graphics aren't amazing and i mean for this remake for resident evil zero uh, not resident evil zero the first resident evil sorry yeah. they've changed the voiceovers because Why? originally it was like so bad. you were almost a jill yeah. sandwich I know, but they, should, they should have left that because but that i was think it should charm, have, that's yeah. what i was going to say it was part of the charm and it should have had an option to have the re- yeah, ridiculously like terrible original, yeah. dialogue um <laughs> But those games, I think, are warranted. Like, those remakes are warranted. Yeah. Whereas things like The Last of Us, which came out for PlayStation 3, it was a huge game. Everybody loved yeah. it. Was the remake for PlayStation 4 warranted, though? To, to nah. me, it wasn't. We- weirdly, what what happened with me was um, that came out quite late in the, in, in the PS3's life cycle. Yeah. And uh, although some people would argue with this, like, Xbox at 360, I would say one last next gen, whereas I'd say this gen PS4 yeah, seems to be winning. Falls. Where, yeah. uh, so that's where I say, it. I mean, I love both consoles, yes, but like too. it was at the point where I was only playing me 360 because all of my friends, like it wasn't like yeah. just some people, it was like everyone, every single one, every single person I knew who played video games had a 360 and played that. Yeah, like even people who had both, like myself, it, like it was gathering dust, and I think I think I decided, oh, I'm gonna be getting the Xbox One, the PS4 in a couple of months. I'll give it to my parents, so I give it to my parents, and then Last of Us came out, and I bought it, but because I'd give it to my parents, and they were using it downstairs as a DVD player, and, yeah. and, and Netflix box, Yeah, <laughs> it was like, I ended up only playing the first four hours of The Last of Us, so when I got my PS4, I did rebuy it, because so I, I, ne- I needed yeah, to play Yeah, because you hadn't Us. played it. Yeah. yeah, and it was great, but honestly, it, it, it didn't didn't feel yeah. wildly different, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was it's, it was to, totally good on PS3 as it was on Xbox. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's so just it wasn't needed. Like it's, 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 it's only it's only worth it if you haven't played it. You know yeah, I mean? 
Yeah. So for me, it was or a worthwhile purchase. Or if it's a really, purchase. really old game. Like, yeah. like Resident Evil 2 is getting a remake, which to me yeah. is, is mind blowing. Like that that makes sense. So if it's if it's yeah, a really it's, it's like years really and years old, old. But like you say, if it's a game that came out two years yeah, ago, yeah, I don't see the point. Do you like, know what I mean? Even I mean, I just make it backwards compatible. But I yeah, mean, that's just it's money, but isn't that's, it? That's yeah, exactly. The thing is though is. The first two years, well, the first year in particular for uh, next gen console was just so weak on releases. Yeah, I it think was. That, I think that they had to rely on a lot of remakes <laughs> just yeah. for games to be playable yeah. on the next gen. Yeah, consoles. my Xbox One was an FX player for about eight months. Yeah, like because there was just nothing. there was nothing. It was a barren yeah. wasteland of games. But I mean, this last year there was something like that I can count offhand. It was something like twenty games that were remade for yeah. Xbox One, PlayStation Four. And yeah. for for PC like there was well, Devil May like, Cry games. You're a huge you're a huge Gears fan. Yes. Like you not only do you like the story but you love the multiplayer. Yeah. Like I I love Gears for the stories. I've always played the story mode. Like I've played some of the multiplayer and yeah. I prefer I like horde mode. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I mainly I mainly like intro. But um I mean it was only recently that Games of Gold put Gears of War three on. And yeah. you were playing Gears of War three. The horde and, mode. And it yeah. it was really fun playing that on Xbox. It was, mode. Yeah. It was thoroughly enjoyable. Which makes us, which makes Ultimate Edition seem even more needless to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. obviously, you can play Gears of War One on the backwards compatibility uh, yeah. as well. Yeah. So again, I mean, the only difference is there's graphics and there's three extra chapters in the game. But if yeah. you played the PC version, yeah, you've played, those, you've chapters. played those chapters. So yeah. again, I mean, it does look pretty, yeah, and I did enjoy it. I did play the story and I did yeah. complete it on insane like and all that. You'll enjoy I mean, it. That's horrible. what it is. Though. I mean, if you're a Gears fan, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, but it wasn't. But it, it was wasn't wasn't needed. necessary. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was. I suppose, ironically, for that franchise, it was overkill. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> you know, yeah, right? it is. Yeah, but I mean, like they did it recently with, um, with the Tomb Raider. Like, obviously, there's the there's the two most recent Tomb Raiders. Yeah, called Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yes, uh-huh. which I've thoroughly enjoyed both of them. But they, they did a remake of uh, the of, of Tomb Raider, the first one, um, and I didn't bother with it. Like, completed it on three sixty. Yeah. The 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 added it on um, games of gold recently. Yeah, they did. Yeah, because that's the only way I've played it. Because it's like pro- probably games of because gold. hardly anyone did buy it because yeah. it didn't need to be re bought. Yeah, just if you if you only had an Xbox One or a PS Four and then and then you bought it, fair enough. It yeah. Makes sense. But uh, yeah. It's... But like I say, if you played it last gen, the, the, there was no real reason to go back to that. Yeah. And I I, I, I think well, I thoroughly enjoyed like just, just the just Christmas gone. Thoroughly yeah. enjoyed playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. Me and my yeah. girlfriend both enjoyed completing it. Yeah, separately, like it was just really good. To, like, that was a good game, but to me, that is come it, out so soon as well, though. Like I say, it was. Yeah. They brought out the rem the the remake, and it was only a couple of months later that Rise was coming out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it actually is. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I mean, is it because there's a lack of original IPs coming, or is it just the the, the want money? Do you know what I mean? I, th- I do think a lot of the time, I do. It does feel like the worst one I I, I got hooked on was um Payday Two. Yeah, PD Two isn't a great game. It's no. fun. Like <laughs> it's I, I, terrible. It, it, it's it's a niche game. Like I think some people love it and other people hate. It. Like it's not ever going to be universally liked. But no. I really enjoyed it. I played a lot of a lot of it with a friend uh, on three sixty. Yeah. Um. So when I heard it was coming to next gen, I was looking forward to it. But honestly, it look it looks pretty much identical to last gen. Yeah. And it was almost unplayable for like a month and a half <laughs> on release because like yeah. you couldn't get into a game. Yeah. You could only you could only play with your friends. Um, but it's a game which it's a four player heist game so it's best enjoyed with four players so right. even if I was playing with one friend we would play with two randoms yeah. you couldn't do that no. like you couldn't you couldn't get in a game because the servers were just crap well when I played that for 360 like I couldn't get, in, get into a game so I played it by myself and the AI was terrible on it so yeah. it put me off but then obviously you bought the remake or yeah. remaster or whatever yeah. it's called Crime so, Wave Edition yeah. Crime Wave Edition <laughs> <laughs> with, with free John Wick skin that you can't yeah. see yeah like I mean John Wick was an awesome Film, but yeah. he's still still. It was a waste of drama. Yeah, so. but it's cool, but yeah, yeah, at the same time. And I mean, I, I bought it and played it, but to me it was just meh. I mean, yeah. it, it was meh the first time, but I bought it to play with you. I mean, the, to me, a remake it has to be something that is gone, past gone. Not yeah. it's been two years, like 10, 11, 12 years yeah. old. Something that you really, really enjoyed playing as a child think, and stuff like I that. I think it's. It's, it's preference, I suppose, to some extent. Like, for example, I played loads of Borderlands 1. And yeah. I played a lot of Borderlands 2 when the pre-sequel came out. That was the same. I think I might have moved on. Like, it was too late in the cycle. Yeah. Um, But I still wanted to play it. So when I heard the Handsome Collection was coming out, I was like, well, yeah, I want to play that. So yeah. definitely. So I get it. So I get And, and like, 
like I say, Borderlands 1, like being backwards compatible tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to play the shit out of that tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. I'm loving The Division at the minute, but I'm actually looking forward <laughs> to going back to playing Borderlands 1. Like, yeah. that's my day tomorrow is yeah. going to be playing. Same. We'll like, be doing you that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that. Mandate! <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? For me, enough time's passed for that, but like I say, even with the Handsome Collection, you could have re released those two games looking exactly as they did. Yeah. And it would still be thoroughly enjoyable for me. I mean, again, could they not just put them on backwards compatibility, though? That, yeah. that's, that's my argument now, because oh, yeah. cause they're all 360 games on backwards compatibility well, on the Xbox doing it. One. Is it De Dead Island and uh, Dead Island Riptide? They're going to be making a collection. A remaster, a remaster. collection, yeah. yeah. Oh, but it's basically those two games. And I mean, I played Dead Island 1 and it was alright. Yeah. But when Dead Island Riptide came out, it looked too similar and I didn't it. was want it. exactly the same game, but with rain. That was the, yeah. like, that's, <laughs> that's how you can sell that game. Well, it's Dead Island, but uh, it rains. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That is literally it. And I honestly don't think, I honestly don't think this is a necessary yeah. remake, I think. Well, what? Capcom is, is, is coming out with Resident Evil 4, 5 and 6. Resident Evil 6, they're doing it in reverse order, is releasing... First. Yeah. First, at the end of this month. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to get it. Yeah. But only because... Part of me thinks that this money is going towards Resident Evil 2 remake yeah. because they've remade Zero, they've remade this uh, Resident Evil, the original, yeah. and now they're remaking 4, 5, and 6. And I'm thinking, well, if I'm buying these, and they're only about £20, I believe, yeah. um, for the full game, that we're going to get Resident Evil 2. And I think that money's going in the bank to help make Resident Evil 2, which is yeah. which is the only remake that I really want, yeah. apart from maybe Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. For, for PlayStation, that is probably the only one I'm excited yeah. about. I don't know, where, like, we might not be the only people, but like, we both think like that. Like, we think, like, you said, with the year, year, like, uh, one edition for um, State of the Key, we think, like, if we support that, yeah. then we're gonna, it's hopefully it's gonna. It's gonna put money in the bank for Class 4. Yeah. And, yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, you say, a lot of the time, it, it could be backwards compatible. The, the thing is, is obviously, even as he, every, every gamers are huge fans of games. Yeah, Don't obviously. Follow, obviously, <laughs> closing the tile. Yeah. But, a lot, of, a lot of the time you forget that the that companies that want to make money you know what I mean like they don't as much as much as we like to think they care about game has a lot of the time they don't care care yeah <laughs> they no care. They, they, they care they, they care, care about that money they care enough <laughs> about making a game that's you know good enough to sell yeah, yeah. but they don't they, don't, they want they, the acclaim for the game yeah. but they're not interested but in the, the people yeah. buying it but I just think like you say with Fallout Fallout so so huge for example like, yeah I, that was that's the only time I've ever been really disappointed by Fallout like I just think that's such a huge game yeah, to 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 thumb in like backwards compatibility for Fallout Three. What they should have done is they should have said, "He has Fallout Three before Fallout Four. Yeah. Have a playthrough before Fallout yeah. Four comes yeah, out because it'll get you hyped for it, and it yeah. would. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, Fallout Four wasn't as good as Fallout Three to yeah. me, but that's a total different thing. But that was kind of disappointing. But yeah, but had you played Fallout Three recently? Before playing Fallout Four, would it have stopped you buying Four? No, you would oh no, no, of you would definitely not. have still. But I mean, in comparison, it was a disappointment. Yeah, but. I think if they had have released Fallout Three before Fallout Four, you might. I mean, you would still buy Fallout Four, but you might have finished Fallout Three again before you played Fallout Four. If mm. that makes sense. Mm. So I kind of, in a way, I get that. But it, it, it is, it is annoying to an extent where, like, well, we've got a game coming out, and we're going to give you this game, which is probably going to be backwards compatible in eight to ten months. Yeah. But you're going to get it first, and it's yeah. again, it's just the same as DLC. It's. Yeah. You think it's at first you're like, oh well, cool, I'll get that. But then you you go into like the division and everyone's wearing the same outfit because the DLC I mean, everyone gets it because yeah. they've got no choice. I know. I mean, it's 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 the argument that people will say, well, you know, if you want to play Fallout Three, go on your three sixty or your PS Three. Yeah. You play it. Yeah, you can do that. Don't get it wrong. Like I still have those. I still play my three sixty. You know what I mean? But it's just the fact that it's there. It works. Because yeah. they're even saying you can have it. But only if you buy Fallout 4, like, yeah. fuck off. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, like, literally go <laughs> fuck yourself, because I've already paid for this game. Yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? That. And I've paid for Fallout 4, and I, sh I shouldn't, I shouldn't, like, I don't feel like Fallout 3 is a prize. I feel like, you know, I think yeah. I'm being cheeky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? mean? Is there any is there any games that you would like to see remastered or updated? Oh, what? Or? Obviously, we're dead. <laughs> well, that, that's that's what really annoyed is that when, when we first heard about backwards compatibility. Um, yeah. I'm sure it was Microsoft who they did, like, a poll of, Games that people wanted. Yeah, which they took no notice of. They took way. no notice of because like the top <laughs> games were like Black, Black Ops, Ops Two, two Call, um, another Call of Duty, Red Dead uh, Redemption, Dead Grand Theft Auto Four, and they're just like, oh, you like those games? Well, he has Car Car Casona, whatever it's called. I mean, like I say, I'm not a huge Call of Duty player. Like no, I say, but I think Call of Duty Four and Call of Duty World at War are fucking brilliant. Yeah, 
I love those games and I would play them still now. If the and like part of this thing, yeah, just do a backwards compatible. But I, I, I know what Activision I like, and Activision are money driven. Yeah, definitely. But I think Activision money wise, they're totally missing a beat because like they could literally do a Modern Warfare collection, Modern yeah. Warfare one, two, and three, and just upscale the graphics a bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. literally charge charge full price for that game. Yeah. And millions of people buy it to play those games. Just to play again, yeah. Just to would. play those games again. Like I don't know why the, oh, I don't know why there isn't a Call of Duty collection. Like, yeah. It makes no sense to us. I mean well we're basically turning around but well, we're hypocrites really because we're saying well we don't like remasters but then if it's a game we want then yeah. we we'll, we'll do well, that's want the it. thing is, I, don't, I don't I wouldn't I probably personally wouldn't get it because I'm just yeah. I'm just fatigued with Call of Duty. Yeah. But I just can't I just can't think of anyone who wouldn't want to go Yeah, those well, Call of Duty. It's not that it's just like I'm fatigued with Call of Duty, but then if, like you say, if it was Call of Duty Four and it was World at War, I would, I would go back and play those yeah. because they're they're good. Yeah. Like I, I don't want them to change anything. The only thing I want them to change is like if if you change anything, is maybe upscale the graphics a bit. Yeah. But like you say, the way those games are, I like I like the balancing on them and everything. Like just keep them as they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I, like I say, I just I think it's weird. Like I'm obviously shooter wise, obviously. Like, I talk about it every fucking episode, but Battlefield Bad Company too. <laughs> like I said, that should just be backwards compatible. Yeah. Because like right. I played that recently and on Battlefield 1943. Played yeah. those both recently and I still thoroughly enjoy them and they're still good fun to play on 360. Yeah. Just put just make them backwards compatible. <laughs> Do you know what Do I mean? It. Do it. Do I it. I mean, I think on. is it this year that we're gonna be getting Battlefield Five? I'm sure I'm sure yeah. we're hearing about Battlefield Five this year at some point. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully no later than anything. They'll probably tack that in a Battlefield Bad Company too. They'll stick that on the yeah. Battlefield Five probably. Uh, yeah, it would work. Like, I would totally buy it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would work. I'll be annoyed. Yeah, I mean, last I'd year alone, spite. there was there was like that I can think of. There was like ten or fifteen games. Like God of War Three came off for PlayStation Three, and then yeah. they released like the remastered edition. Now I played it for PlayStation Three, and it was yeah. brilliant. It looked good then. Yeah. So I mean, what are they? What have they done this time? Yeah. Just upscaled again, and then re-released yeah. it for the same price. Pretty it, much. It's it, to me. I, I I don't get that. Like yeah. Dark Souls Two was one of the hardest the games is, ever. So they re-released that again. We talk a lot about Xbox, but PlayStation are actually worse because. At least, because <laughs> they are because yeah yeah you, you literally you get obviously you get backwards compatibility with Xbox and you know some people are going yeah well it's free and all that but we're paying for Xbox yeah but yeah. people are like ah but it's free and the blah blah but PlayStation if you want to play backwards compatible games you can but you rent them on yeah. PlayStation now that's ridiculous which is ridiculous because yeah. I'm not paying three ninety nine for a crap game no. that I probably had on my Definitely PS3 not. you yeah. know what I mean plus it's weird PlayStation now because you're streaming the actual game as well right so so, so it, even if it's a single player game you're like streaming it you're streaming from, it you never actually download the game to your hard drive right I didn't know that you yeah. said I didn't really take much notice PlayStation now is like weird I'm, I've never tried it yeah but, I was going to say that. I mean if you can play online for free why are you going to pay for that do you know what yeah, I mean yeah but it's just it's just random yeah <laughs> but then like I say like I say PlayStation aren't on um, I, I, I don't know because people must be doing it but I don't know anyone who would rent on PlayStation now yeah I mean I, I, like, I wasn't even aware of it so I mean I can't yeah. really, really talk about that but like Saints Row 4 yeah. got a remaster but didn't that get new DLC with it yeah it got it's, new stuff but I, well I, I bought it like, cause got it was, out like, of hell or something like, it was spec- called well, yeah, yeah that was a spin off uh, which was new DLC but that well that was a, like a standalone game was it oh so yeah. you could buy that separately so as well they did, they did Saints Row 4 and got out of hell, hell. both 15 quid each all right, so but could you buy like a, in a complete edition for like say thirty quid or? Yeah, I think so. Right, okay, because I mean, again, it wasn't needed. But like at Saints Row Four, I low I, 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 I bought it again because I'm an idiot. Just because yeah. I just I just think the game's pretty <laughs> funny. You know what I mean? Like yeah, <laughs> probably the worst Saints Row, but still funny. Yeah, um, it was funny. Yeah, but. It, that didn't look any different. No, I, I don't. I don't care what they're trying to tell you. It looked exactly the same. Yeah, I've seen games exactly the same. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. That was like that was a cash in remake, yeah. and a lot of people like myself <laughs> fell, fell for it. Fell for it, yeah. For it, so do you know the guy of hell? I mean, yeah. was that was it long? I mean, was it like it's a three hours? Short. It's pretty short. Uh, was it? So but, it was but, but it not was, worth the money. It was like it. It was. It was cleverly disguised. Like you were in hell. Right, but yeah. hell, it was still a city of hell. Right, and you know, you know, like obviously how you had your superpowers. Well, your superpowers were like demon powers. All oh, right, so okay. When you jumped and glided, you, you you had like devil wings. You know what devil I mean? Wings. That would kind of like, you know, like where well, they're not actually on you, but they kind of emerge, kind of like fable when you jump. Right, yeah, fable, you, yeah. Like, so so it's like 
It was just like clever hiding of what already existed. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, it, okay. it, it, it was no rehaul or anything. And it right. Was, that's ridiculous. You'd probably enjoy it as a huge supernatural fan, but yeah. like it was like it was no it was no Well, I mean the reason why no, I didn't it was buy no deal maker. It. Nobody was buying it for God what hell. Yeah, that that's the reason I didn't buy it was because I just thought that yes, you're all getting this new DLC, yeah. but it'll probably be like two hours long. Yeah. And I mean obviously I mean it was like it was longer than that, but I mean it's not like it wasn't the same length as four. Yeah, obviously. And it yeah, certainly wasn't as interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that was good is like obviously it had new crazy weapons because they all right. have crazy weapons in yeah. there, you know what I mean? The dildo bat from um Saints Row Three yeah. for me was the best. The street, the street shark was my favourite. You shoot fish guts on someone. Yeah, and the, the ground shark vibrates and the shark just bursts out. Was that on DLC? Them. I'm sure. Yeah, it was that yeah. it was DLC for Saints Row Three, I think. <laughs> and that That's, was worthwhile I bought yeah, that shit. That happily. was ridiculous. I mean, to to me, remasters just scream cash in. That, that, a lot, yeah, a lot of the time. Uh, and I'm always going to think that. I mean, I've, obviously I've fell for it. Yeah. Like, for, for, I for think games the like Grand Theft Auto. Like you say, if the game came out within the last three, four years, then you're not. it's not going to look wildly yeah. different if you've upscaled it. So It could just be just backwards, put, just compatible, put it backwards compatible. Just put backwards compatible on the Xbox. You literally are taking the piss. Yeah, yeah. Do you know it, what I mean? Exactly. I mean, like, Payday pay, 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 pay looks the same to me. Yeah. And it plays the same to me. Yeah. I mean, I, I've tried playing with the AI and they still stand outside, the, 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 outside the shops. Or... Still won't carry a bag. Yeah. <laughs> What's that about? Sean? Why can't you just go up to them with a bag and like hold a button? To yeah, them and in? hand them the hand bag. Hand them the bag. More sense. So they'll carry at least one bag instead of you by yourself having to carry 12 bags. Yeah. And having yeah. to just ferry them every three foot. Yeah. Uh, like, so stupid. I totally agree. But I mean, for me, remasters that make sense, or like our games from like my childhood, like from ten years ago, like yeah. Metal Gear Solid. I remember playing that on the PlayStation, yeah. and I loved that game. I think it was like two, three discs maybe, yeah. and it was so much to do in that game. And I, th I think if they could do that, I would buy that day one, even if it was yeah. sixty quid. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it was such a good game. There was so much to do. It was, it was a good stealth game, and Resident Evil Two again. Like I'm looking forward to that being remade because. It was so good. There was so much to do in that game, yeah. and it's not just a cash in because again, it's been out. It was out it's been years out so, and years yeah. and years ago, and it's so they're like just happy, giving you what the you're fans like happy want to revisit. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But like Resident Evil Four, Five, and Six, although I'm going to buy them, that obviously cash ins. I mean, Resident Evil yeah. Four was a few years back now, but it yeah. came out for the Xbox 360. So why doesn't it just be backwards compatible? Yeah, because. It's money at the end of the day. It's it's money, yeah. that, that, that's what that's I want. the thing, though, is like it says, how, do, you, do you think they're going to be hugely different? I think no. five and six, I think, are going to look exactly the same. I think so. I mean, Resident Evil 5, although it wasn't you know popular with a lot of people, it, yeah. I loved the game. I did personally love it. And I, I know it's nothing like Resident Evil. I mean, it's got Wesker yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, and, and Chris Punch and Boulders. That is one of the most frustrating boss battles. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Found you. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So nice. But um, I think it was a good looking game then. So just release it as backwards compatibly. I mean, I've yeah. still got Resident Evil 5 in yeah, the bedroom. So. Um, and I'm sure, I could just I'm stick sure, it in and play it. I'm sure. I was gonna Instead say, of paying me, me twenty quid, I'm sure I completed Resident Evil Five together like only last year or something. Yeah. Like obviously I'd completed it a few times already with friends and yeah. by myself and things yeah. like that. But like you know, I was just like we we're looking for games we could play co-op. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it so much. I, I was well, literally I'm, actually speaking of Resident Evil, I really enjoyed Revelations too. Like we played that. Quite yeah. That's really fun. Yeah, I mean, like you say that you don't you don't really need a remake of, of five right now. No, you don't. I there's, mean, there's no cry for that. I mean, like I said, I'm I'm gonna buy it. I yeah. I'm gonna buy four as well because I'll, yeah. four a sec they're the second one and the fourth one are my favourites. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil Five, I love that, but for a different reason. It's yeah. terrible as a Resident Evil game, yeah. but I enjoy playing it quite with with my friend Nick. And yeah. I mean, we completed every single. You know every like the difficulties. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I was one achievement away from thinking. Yeah. So I mean, I would definitely go back and revisit that game for that. And you're that's gonna get all the DLC well. with it's it. It's like with the achievements. <coughs> that's a good point as well because like I remember with GTA Five, it's GTA Five has the exact same achievements on next gen as it does on last gen. Yeah. So if you played it on 360, the second you turn that game on, you unlock all the achievements again. Right. Because that's what happened. The second I logged on to on to, um GTA Five, I unlocked like literally the. 80% of achievements when are already you, unlocked. Is it because you can carry a save game over or something like that? Is it, is uh, yeah. That, yeah. Because you can carry right. you can, you can carry your um, character, like your online character across as well. Yeah, of course. But it was yeah. just like, 
all, all, all of it is just already unlocked on my head. Uh, you see, I like unlocking achievements. Like, so yeah, yeah. I would have. I would, what they should have done is there should have been a new bunch of achievements, which yeah. were entirely different from uh-huh. the ones in. Yeah. I like, maybe keep like one, which is complete the story, but it it, it should be called like complete the story on next gen or something. Yeah. Yeah. On, Do you know on, what I mean? On new gen next gen. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> rather than rather than just giving us the same shit achievements, I'd, I'd completed yeah. like you know. It was literally a year to the fucking month, pretty much, for release. Yeah, it was. So It was ridiculous. It was like a year ago, I did these achievements. Oh, you're just giving us them all back again. Well, that's fun. So, I took, so that was a, that was a big thing with GTA, was there was hardly any incentive to um, complete the story no. again. I mean, they said there was going to be like extras added to that, and it was like a crime-solving mystery yeah. and stuff like that. But there's no indication as to how you start it. You're just like, well, put this new stuff in, yeah. find it. And yeah. to me, the only reason I bought that game was because of the trailer. Yeah. The trailer was so good. Yeah. I was like, I want that game again. But it's the same game. And we all fall for it. And yeah. it's not like Rockstar needed the money. And I mean, fair <laughs> no. enough. I don't I don't think backwards compatible was a thing then. I mean, it was just last yeah. June when E3, uh, at E3, the Xbox, Microsoft announced it. Yeah. But I mean, again... It could have just been backwards. It could yeah. have been backwards compatible, like a lot of these games we're talking about um, yeah. about today. And and for me, that's why I think backwards compatibility isn't going to do as well as the hope, because a lot of studios are just remastering games, yeah. and that's that's what we're going to see. We're going to continue to see a tidal wave of remasters of games yeah. that we don't need, whereas we could have remasters that we actually want, yeah. like Resident Evil Two. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, there's almost a spite to it because you think. If a company say does a remaster, like say for Dead Island and Dead yeah. Island Riptide, like I can't imagine anyone wanting to buy that. No, I don't. I don't like, want if, that. If you if you played the first, yeah, I've played, played the them first, both. You probably had your fill of Dead Island because yes. it wasn't great. I mean, Dead Island Two got cancelled. Just by it's Dying Light, back. Dying Light improves yeah. upon everything that those so, games failed on. Yeah, the, it does. Yeah, Dying Light you know is what actually I mean? so just go and just go, go buy Dying Light. Just go buy Dying really Light good. if you want the next gen experience, which is a bad like just do that. Yeah. So, uh-huh. but but then I also think if if it, it, it all similarly say literally nobody buys it, they'll still not make it backwards compatible because they're just going. Well, if you want to play, yeah, you want to remake, buy. yeah, exactly. and you're just like, well, no, because I've already, yeah. I already wasted, and literally, and and I literally mean wasted. I already wasted money buying Dead Island. Yeah, yeah. You I, know what I mean, I mean, it was okay. It but was it, fucking it, it, shit. It, it, the first on one paper, was, it should have yeah. worked because on paper you're like, oh, it's, that, small, I, it, it's yeah, fucking Borderlands. Was, Borderlands with zombies. It's, yeah, it's an RPG loot and shoot. With yeah, fucking, yeah, but. Customizable weapons. For and me, stuff. for me, the first one was okay. The second one was the same game with rain. That, oh, that, that to me, obviously the story was different, but it was just the same game with yeah. rain. And it, they don't warrant a remaster. Mm-hmm. Just put those put those games on back with some like Riptide. Is, Riptide didn't even warrant its own game. Riptide like, should have been DLC. Yeah, it should off. Yeah, it really should. I don't care what. I mean, you. the escape at the end of the first one end up on a boat, and then it's like, oh, there's another I island. Think the thing is, is a lot, a lot. DLC, I mean, it's, it's a different argument altogether, but some, some companies think if DLC is like, say, 30, 40 hours long, you, even more, they're like, well, it, it's 40 hours long, so it's its own game. Well, and that's like, ridiculous. You're like, well, no, well, look at the Witcher's DLC. Yeah, I was going to say the Witcher's 3 DLC, the, you know what I mean? the new the new DLC that came out, I'm still playing that. Yeah, and that, that was DLC. That, and it's and the, the promise that it would unless, be like 20 unless, hours long. Unless, unless you've, like you say, created a whole new um, engine from the ground up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. like, you know what I mean? It's DLC. Yeah, like that's why that's why I hate Call of Duty though. That's what that's one of my big hits for Call of Duty is eighty percent of the time it feels like DLC. <laughs> it's like this is this is this the whole is, game feels like DLC. This, isn't man. this just DLC for yeah. Modern Warfare One? <laughs> it's just the same with FIFA's. They sh- they should just have an update every year that yeah. you pay a ten off all yeah, for yeah, new players because that's all that's, that's different. Yeah. It's re- it's re- it really is is ridiculous, yeah. and I think remasters need to stop and. Unless yeah. it's the small studios, yeah. of course, or unless it's a game that you know people actually like want. Said, I think it's like I said, the time limit seems to be quite a good thing because, like I said, yeah. the last the last few years of Xbox PS3, the graphics were good enough to still hold yeah, the, the were. test of time. I think yeah. anything beyond that, then fair enough. Yeah. If you're gonna update, if you're gonna actually update the graphics, but otherwise just. Make everything back backwards compatible. Yeah, just do that so we've got games to play. I mean, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that 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 is a sad thing though. It's like I say, I've got like I said, division. It's already enjoying the division, but I'm really looking forward so, to the board, board, board board lands, lands, you know? yeah. Because the, the the those games are just so good. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, obviously, you bought the Borderlands, you know, remastered, handsome collection, yeah. whatever it's called. But again, 
it could have just been backwards. It could have. It could could have. have. The only reason I got that, like you said, is just because I hadn't picked up the pre sequel, and it was it was the same price as picking up the pre sequel. Pretty much. Right. Is the pre sequel like a new thing? Yeah, because I'm not really aware of that. It was it was it was Borderlands, and then there's Borderlands Two, and then Borderlands the pre sequel is obviously it's a sequel to Borderlands Two, but it takes place before it. Right. It's set on the moon. Right, okay. So, so it adds a whole new system. So not only have you got your health bar and your um, shields, you've also got an oxygen mask, which is upgradable. Right. Oh, okay, and, and fair you, enough. You, you, you basically start losing oxygen every time you, um, out, you are on the surface of the moon, like if you're not oh, in an right, indoor cool. pot component. Right. And you obviously, you, you, because you're in space, your jumps are like dead slow. And you can, <laughs> you've got like a kind of little jet boost, which takes some of your oxygen off. And All right, okay. So it adds new mechanics. Obviously, it's the best looking one graphically. Yeah, so event, obviously that came out just for Xbox One. And, no, no, that came out for 360. But it did. It, it just came out very late in the cycle. Like it was like, oh, okay. It was like almost next gen upon us. Right, okay. And that, that's why I never got it. Because I, I, like, I think I was still sinking. I was still, you know, yeah, like, still only playing 100 Borderlands. hours into Borderlands. On only third, 100 hours? On my like, third character. <laughs> I mean, it's not 500 hours an arc, but yeah. still, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot of hours. You know what I mean? So it's just like I wasn't done with Borderlands. But that's the thing is, say I've got it, and I mean, I've got it on release. Yeah. And I mean, I literally play it probably, if if not two, three times a month for like a long session. Like me and my girlfriend are playing. Each time we play, it's like, which one we're playing today? We're playing Borderlands 2, we're playing the pre sequel. Yeah. So oh, like, she, she, she bases it on what, per- like, obviously, you've got an action skill with each class. Right. They'll do like that special perk. And she decides which game to play on, on what action skills she wants to use. She was like, well, I want to use me robot, which is the class as the Macromancer. Yeah. So we'll play some Borderlands 2, you know what I mean? Right. I was just oh, like, I want to use me character who has the lock on headshot, like the Lawbringer, I think it is, on the right. sequel. Oh, cool. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so cool. it's the fact like that, for me, that game was totally worth it because we're still playing it now. Right. And that's what, but, but that's Borderlands, it's, it's, it's like the Division or, or even Destiny, it's like it's a game that you can literally play for hundreds of hours. And right, okay. Because it never it never really ends, even when the story ends, there's yeah. still so much to do. But unlike Destiny, Borderlands has charm. Yeah, and with Borderlands as <laughs> and well, soul. Like, there's so many different characters to play as and different right. ways you can just, like unlock skills and things. Yeah. Like, once you, you know, I could play the whole game, I'll still want to start again with a different character that I haven't tried. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's cool. So there's lo- longevity there. So that that was for me. It was a worthwhile remake, but it could have still easily have been. Yeah, Ju- it could have just as easily have been. <clears throat> but I wasn't mad about it because it was still cheap. It was still it was like thirty quid on release. Oh, that's cool. Oh well, I mean, do you know what I mean? And pr- the pre sequel was was like forty quid, like you know, about six months before it. Yeah. So I, for me, I, I felt like I was just paying for the pre sequel. Yeah. Oh well. Which was worth thirty quid. That that's cool. I mean, to sum up, really, it's. Stop remaking stuff we've already played from like three years ago. Put yeah. it back with its compatibility and remake something that we actually want. Yeah. Something that's nostalgia filled, like Resident Evil Two. Yeah. Get on it. <laughs> but like, see, there's the backwards compatible. It's. It, it, it's it's frustrating. Obviously, I don't know the actual ins and outs of it, but they're saying obviously they need permission from the publishers. But surely the publishers give you permission to make the game because they made it. Like it yeah. exists. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like I already, ha- if I already have a physical copy of the game, and then I, I put, and I put that like say one that one that works like say Borderlands one right now, you can play it already. Like obviously uh-huh. tomorrow it's gonna be on Games of Gold because I just don't have the original three hundred and sixty copy of it. I, st- I still only have my copy of Borderlands two. Yeah. Um. So that's why I'm looking forward to playing it tomorrow because then obviously I don't have to go. But if you have Borderlands one right now, if you put that disc in your Xbox One, you can play it. Right, and that and that's the way it should be, you know. Yeah, I mean? true. If I already have that game, uh-huh. what 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 am I, what 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 we're waiting for? Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're telling exactly. us, you're telling us it works on the Xbox One. Well, yeah, it literally works, but so what's the reason? Uh, people. Yeah, <laughs> like that. That's Which, you know what I mean. It's like yeah. it's, li- it's li- are the worst. It's literally <laughs> just a, a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, stop working from playing it. You know what I mean. <laughs> It is. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Oh, well, we are. That's why we do a podcast <laughs> about games. So we just more about every no. game we talk about. But no yeah, games are but good. Still, but still, like you say, like companies, like you say, like the, the is it, is it, um, who's it, Remedy Entertainment, who are making uh, Quantum Break? Yeah. And they're offering Alan Wake and Alan Wake, American Nightmare. I Football. don't even think it's Alan Wake. I think it's just no, it's Alan, both. is it? Because I loved Alan Wake, the first game. Yeah. I loved that. No, Brilliant. No, you, you get both. But it you should get... be backwards compatible. But yeah. But it is that's the thing is we've made it backwards compatibility. But only if you buy a new game yeah. and you're just yeah. like oh. Go fuck yourself. But shouldn't you be happy that we bought Alan Wake and we bought American yeah. Nightmare? Yeah. I, I you see I like the first Alan Wake, didn't like American Nightmare. 
and I wanted an Alan Wake sequel, but yeah. I don't want to buy Quantum Break for Alan Wake. Yeah. I want to buy Quantum Break because it looks good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And, and I mean, why it does? Same with same, same Fallout 4, though. Like, so yeah. I didn't buy Fallout 4 because I, I was getting Fallout 3. Yeah. I and, mean, And it just didn't feel like an extra because it felt like, you know... Yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. <laughs> if, if it felt like you're trying to strong arm us into buying a game that I wanted to buy anyway, and you should have just been confident in that people wanted to buy it because yeah. you were making a good product. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I get that. I, I really do. And like you say, I, I'm not, not ever tell Activision how to make money, but like, why? Because, you know, they're already filthy rich. But <laughs> why have they not made a Call of Duty collection? As someone who isn't even a huge Call of Duty fan, it's still crazy to me that that hasn't happened. Yeah. There was rumours of it last year. Cause it was, was it? There was rumours that the, a collection was going to come. Because I think it was because, like, Ghost did so badly. Like, someone started the <laughs> rumour. Like, like, obviously, oh, it didn't do badly monetarily. It was terrible. It was just, like, review-wise, everyone was just like, wow, Call of Duty shit now. Yeah. <laughs> which, which you know <laughs> it was three games before ghosts though in yeah. fair. I mean for me personally yeah. but yeah. with Call of Duty is shit yeah. now it's, it's, not, not, it's not what it used to be nah, it's so not there was, Black there was that whole thing I think they were saying it was going to be a Modern Warfare collection so it was going to be Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3 yeah that, that would have sold so much yeah it would have it would have made, it would have made you know all I mean? of the even, money they could have even reduced price they could have made that 30 quid and still they still would have made millions yeah of yeah. something that like to, to actually make wouldn't have cost them that much as well. No, it, it wouldn't, no. <laughs> but anyway, enough mourning for one episode. <laughs> Thanks for listening to today's The Unashamed Gamers. Yeah, that's all um, it is, moan. Please, please do uh, leave leave any comments, you know, tell, tell what you agree with. Yeah, agree or with. disagree what you with. Th- what you think should be remade. T- tell us what you think of remakes. Yes. Tell us how disappointed you were by this yeah. <laughs> Agree with everything I've said. <laughs> yes, do that. <laughs> Because that's what the internet's about, just agreeing with people. Yeah, not, no, but not please, please do like, subscribe, follow. Thanks for ev- to everyone who watched the last episode. Yes, and, thank you. Um, most importantly, remember, GG doesn't stand for good game, it stands for good. Good! <laughs>